What's up guys, Ted from Nerd Immersion here. I guess by the time you're going to see this, this will probably be Sunday. But anyway, this is your D&D &D update for the week. Um, not a whole lot of stuff going on, a couple of articles on the Wizards of the Coast websites, but we here at Nerd Immersion have a lot of cool news for stuff that's coming out here. So, stay tuned. Alright guys, so let's jump right in. Um, we got a couple of things here, again, not a ton of news. Article on the Wizards of the Coast website about Inagu, the Knoll um, Lord of Demons. Demon Lord, as it were. Um, again, I feel like this article already came out once before, but here you go. So, pretty simple. On the D&D Tumblr, they put out another thing about Chris Perkins' custom Sword Coast Legends campaign that he has released and how to get access to it. Um, again, there was a sale, unfortunately, that ended December 1st. Again, I have the game. I might even be doing a series with it in the future. I'm not sure, but keep your eye out for that. Um, I will be downloading this and most likely running the uh, Green uh, Knights of the Green Flame storyline, just at least to see it till I figure out how to build my own. Uh, oops. On the Facebook here, uh, we have the Facebook, the Wizards of the Coast Facebook. They've been doing these kind of like posting a picture and then putting up a bunch of uh, asking people questions. So this one was, what would happen, what would be the story if a flump goes bad? So there's that story. Um, we have a video here from Pro Jared. It's D&D &D December. So he's doing a whole bunch of videos all, uh, all month long, all about Dungeons and Dragons and things like that. So you can feel free to check that out on his channel. Again, there'll be links in the description. Jumping over to Facebook yet again. Sorry, the notifications keep coming up and they're really annoying. Uh, turn off chat. Sorry, it's really stupid. I wish I could take the sound off. Oh, there you go, chat sounds. Anyway, going back to this, they put out another article here as well. Um, all about villains with just a silhouette. So what's some of the best villains you've ever faced? They released a Rage of Demons wallpaper. So this is a uh, What's her face? Zugit Moy uh, wallpaper here. There's a whole bunch on their site if you're looking for a D&D wallpaper for your desktop or for any of your video backgrounds or things like that. Geek and Sundry. I thought I got rid of the chat sounds. Geek and Sundry has been doing a daily giveaway. Uh, let's see if I'll refresh and see what it is today. It was D&D a few days ago, D20 stuff a few days prior to that. Um, but you can go ahead and check out their website. It's D5 of D20 holiday giveaways. It apparently is not working. I don't know why it wasn't. But uh, either way, you can check out Geek and Sundry's Facebook page for more giveaways. Rain Wilson, who is the author of The Bassoon King... He is a big D&D fan. You guys may know him as Dwight Schrute from The Office. He was on the D&D podcast, so you can listen to him talking about growing up being a nerd and playing D&D there. Um, we Love Fine, again, still has sales. They have a lot of Dungeons & Dragons, Neverwinter-themed. Obviously, uh, you can see glasses, you can see clothing, some statues, messenger bags, scarves, dice bags. I'm still got my eye on this D&D sweater. I might be picking it up. Gale Force Friday from uh, Wizard of the Coast, where they talk about some of the Gale Force products. This one's spotlight is the dr the blue Draco Lich, which, as you can see, fully painted and done up right, looks fantastic. So I'd be on the lookout for that. If you're there's only I was to say limited to 1,500 quali uh, quantity, and that's about the size of a regular mini. So it's pretty large size. It's obviously quite intricate. Look at all the detail on this design. So if you're planning on you just like having statues, or you want to throw a blue Dracolich at your players, this is a good way to go about it. Um, no idea what the price is, though, because i got to imagine you're looking at something pretty sizable here. Um, I don't know, we just go to their store and find out. Um, I do not like their website, though. Blue Dracolich, 90 bucks. Looks like most of their dragon-sized things, red dragon, $90. Some things are smaller, like this Zugantmoy is only 25, and Grast is also 20, so... Again, higher scale minis for people that want to go a little more crazy, and have like minis that could also double as just a statue for your collection. And lastly, 
the uh, official D&D stream for Out of the Abyss live session number 7 is up. So if you guys are playing through D&D Out of the Abyss, or you're going to be running it and you're curious to see how it's going to go and somebody else plays it, this is the official Wizards of the Coast stream, so you can be sure to check that out as well. So, let's jump back over here to me. I wanted to just say that, again, thank you. We've been getting a large increase in the number of comments and views and subscriptions here on YouTube, and it means a lot. And I think we just broke over 40,000 views. We broke over 300 subscribers. So thank you. It's largely in part due to you guys who love the D&D content that we put out. Um, got some good news, though. Uh, for those of you who don't know, the Kobold Press, the guys who did Order of the Dragon Queen and Rise of Tiamat, they did a Kickstarter not that long ago coming out. I'll probably do a separate video on this just in case it gets lost in here. But coming out next year called Tome of Beasts. And we are part of the... Why am I all fuzzy all of a sudden? It's kind of weird. Um, yeah, all right, anyway. Uh, we're part of the playtest, and they're actually going to go above and beyond. And we're going to get access to probably around two of the monsters ahead of time each month to playtest. Again, I can't post stat blocks or talk too much about it, but I will theoretically, if they have them, I will get art assets for the monsters. And in our Tuesday night game where we play in person and then afterwards we do our discussion show, Dungeons and Dragons and Discussions, or as we've been calling it, Triple D, um, we are going to be talking about the balance and stuff of the monsters. So twice a month you'll be able to see Tome of Beast monsters before they come out. I wish my dog would stop crying, but I can't, what can I do? Um, so yeah, be on the lookout for that. Brand new monsters, never before seen being debuted on this channel twice a month before Tome of Beasts actually releases, and there's possibly talks of us getting to debut a whole entire lair from the Lair Handbook ahead of time as well. Again, I'll do a short separate video just kind of as an announcement that this is happening, but I just wanted to let you guys know. Um, all right, well, that is pretty much it, guys. Uh, you can just check out, thank you again, you can click right below here to subscribe. You can click up top to see our Lost Minds of Fandelver Let's Play. It's actually changing because we completed Lost Minds of Fandelver, and we have now moved on to a completely homebrew campaign. I'm throwing in little parts of other campaigns. I'm pulling in parts of um, Princess of the Apocalypse, just one or two side missions, and then the rest is all homebrew. The video that you're seeing right there, they got attacked by an undead bear with sharks for arms. So you might want to check that one out. It also is the one where we debut the undead butterfly swarm enemy from Tome of Beasts. Down here in the middle here, this is Princes of the Apocalypse. This is an online game. We play this about every other Thursday, although we had to go on a month hiatus because we had issues with our uh, our, our scheduling. So we're playing this in Fantasy Grounds. We just had an episode just this past week, it's every other Thursday. It's live on Twitch and it's here on YouTube. And down the bottom there is our discussion show. Again, this one the topic was character builds that you always wanted to play but never got a chance to. And we also discussed the balance of the Undead Butterfly Swarm that's in this video up here. Um, next week's topic for that show, over and underused spells. So if you want to send us your ideas for over and underused spells or show up live and talk to us there, you can feel free to do that. That's every Tuesday starting at about 8.30 p.m. Eastern goes to about midnight the discussion show is about the last hour so anyway guys sorry that outro was a little longer than expected but i hope you have a great week and we hope to see you on tuesday and there may also be another even bigger online DD production collaboration between me and a couple of other youtubers so i'll obviously update you guys as soon as i know more but anyway guys have a great week enjoy the rest of your weekend and happy gaming i'll see you next time